Hi, it's Tiffany Ashton with Clint Essentials. I'm here with another video for our clinical research associates on tips for preparing for your monitoring visit within the electronic data capture or EDC system. Now, as a CRA, you go on site every four to six weeks or maybe eight weeks, just depending on your monitoring plan. And when you're about to go on site, you definitely want to make sure that you have some tools to set you up for success. And you want to prep before you go on site things that you may need. And some of these things are found within the EDC system. As a CRA, you want to make sure that you have a good picture of your site. So you have a good overview of how they're doing, especially as it relates to data entry. So when I was traveling as a CRA, I would always go into my EDC system. Most times it was RAVE and I would go to the report setting and I would run a report on the open queries. I would run a report on the missing pages. So what I would do with those reports, the open queries and missing pages. About a week prior to my visit, I would extract those reports, send them to my study coordinator. And sometimes you may have to pare down your report and make it more digestible. Don't send too much information, but you do want to give them a heads up that, hey, you have these open queries, many missing pages. Can you please address those prior to me being on site? And by your study coordinator having enough time before you get there and the pages to focus on, they can work through those items. So when you get on site, you know exactly what you need to do and it's already ready for you to do your source data verification. So that's a good tip. If you're not doing that, you definitely want to make sure that you are doing that because that's going to make your monitoring visit that much easier and you can get through that much data because it's already been addressed and it's in the system ready for you to review versus you getting on site and you realizing, oh, I have 20 unanswered queries, 15 missing pages. I can't go through a page source documents all together. Now, the other report that you want to run is the answered query report. And so that means the site has answered queries that maybe you or a previous monitor have left in the EDC system for them. And now you as the CRA needs to go back and review and close those items. Now, sometimes if you wrote your query correctly in the sense of you had the data, the source data within the query, you may be able to close those remotely. And here's an example. If in the source document, the date of birth is 1-1-2015, but within the EDC, the date of birth is 1-1-2016, you may write your query in the EDC that says, per the source, the date of birth is 1-1-2015. Please confirm. And so if your site confirms and updates the EDC to that 1-1-2015 date, you've already put the answer in your query so you can close it remotely. But if you did not put your answer in your query, then you would have to close that on site when you have access to the source again. So if you just said date of birth does not match, please confirm. You don't give yourself enough information to close it remotely. And so you have to be on site to close that answered query. So those are just a few little tips for closing answered queries. But that is something that you want to do prior to your visit. Close out as many queries as you can so you can see the ones that are truly outstanding and you need to be on site for. And that helps with your preparation within the EDC. And the last thing that I would suggest that you do the day before your visit, or even you can sometimes do this multiple times while you're on site, is check your SDV rate. So in the EDC, it will tell you how many pages you have to SDV, source data verify. So let's just say you check that report and prior to your visit, you had 100 pages to SDV. And two hours into your SDV, you want to run that report again and now it says you have 70 pages to SDV left and then maybe you want to work three hours more on site and then it says you're at 30 pages SDV. So you want to see that SDV going down because that means you're capturing and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing within the database. And so that is very helpful as well. So those EDC reports, they give you a lot of information and you can use them as a tool to help you be more productive on site. So thanks for watching and I hope that that was informative for you. And if there's any other reports that you use within the EDC, definitely feel free to share because we would love to utilize those as well within our community. Thanks and we'll see you again soon.